Now, when it comes to prime numbers, size really does matter. And that number you're going to start seeing scrolling behind me now. There it goes. Lots and lots of digit is the largest prime number that's been ever discovered to date. Ever since the ancient Greek geometer Euclid proved that there were an infinite number of prime numbers, mathematicians have been on a quest to find higher examples. Now this one, just so it's clear, has an astonishing 17 million digits, so we've given it in shorthand to you. It is 2 to the power of 57 million 885,161 minus one. So, what does the discovery actually mean? I'm joined now by mathematician and director of Maths Busking, Dr Sarah Santos. Welcome to you. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, John. Um, what it, just remind us, again, what a prime number is. A prime number is actually uh, the uh, building block of arithmetic. It's a number that can't be divided by any number other than uh, five or, sorry, other than itself or uh, one. Right. So that means, for example, five is a prime number and six is not a prime number because you can do two times three is six. And seven is a prime number. Si seven is a prime number. But nine is not because three times three. Very good math. OK, so I'm getting there. In basic maths, I'm getting there. Uh -huh. um, the issue is, what is the relevance? I mean, is it, I mean, I can understand if you love numbers and playing with numbers that there is a fascination. But is there any practical use? Yes, there's, there's several uses and the most important for us is that uh, when we're on the internet and we're doing an internet transaction, Amazon or eBay or any other thing, and we see a little lock on the corner of the screen, there's a secure connection, uh, our uh, secure, uh, our secret details are being encrypted using large prime numbers. So we need large prime numbers to be able to uh, ensure that internet transactions and our data is securely, um, securely locked away. So this isn't just some geeky hobby, this matters. I'm, oh, I wouldn't dream it's that. Sounded, both. That it's sounded rude to be speaking <laughs> to a mathematician. No, I'm politics. proud of being a geek. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, but you don't kind of conform to the stereotype of a geek, I've got to say. But anyway, do, look, do you think that, um, you know, that, that people should be more interested in this, seeing as the, the value that they have? Um, it's it's very important, and we need to continue to have uh, to have uh, uh, research in mathematics being funded and, and guaranteeing that uh, we are ahead of people that could um, could otherwise steal away our our uh, secure data. So, for example, if we have uh, intelligence that is trying to uh, break down numbers in primes faster than um, than than our mathematicians know, um, we are a danger. And Sarah, I've got to ask you, what is maths busking? I know what busking is if you've got a musical instrument and you go on the sort of the metro or the underground in London, but what is maths busking? Oh, it's, um, it's a way of entertaining people with mathematics and, uh, and making them aware that mathematics can be interesting, can be fun, um, without forcing them to sit down